Hey flowers, it's Reesefer. Hey, I'm back with another video. So this video, I'm going in and I am making a wig for a client. I did make this wig myself, but I'm just showing you how I'm coloring it. So I'm going in with the beignet or beignet, beignet, whatever, uh, black dye because um, she wanted dark roots. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just doing the frontal and about two or three tracks in the wig. Um, I'm making those roots dark um, so that... When I do the other color, it, you know, flows a little better. This is my client slash friend's first wig. Um, so, and her first time wearing this color, so she wanted to do it in a little bit on the safe side. So that's why we have the roots. So with this part, you just want to make sure that you take your time so that you don't get it on the frontal. Make sure you go as slow as possible. You do not want to turn the frontal all black. Okay, so I went ahead and washed that out, um, and now I'm using two lavender um, Adore colors, and I am doing the watercolor method for the first time. Uh, I actually did like this method, but I kind of missed, uh, you know, I don't know, I missed the regular way, so you're just going to dip that in some boiling hot water. I'm sure you guys have seen this on YouTube so many times. But I'm just dipping it in some hot, hot water, as you can see, in like a bowl. And I'm just making sure it's all in there. And then I just let it sit for about, I think I let it sit for like 20 minutes. I just let it sit there or whatever like that. Now I'm dancing it around. I'm about to take it out. And here is my friend slash client. Hey, girlfriend. <laughs> she has a lot of hair. So I'm doing four braids and I'm just going to pin them down and of course put a cap on so that her hair lays down as much as possible. Surprisingly, these four braids laid as flat as they could possibly lay. So that was awesome. And you can see the wig next to her. You can see that color. I lost a lot of this footage because my memory card has been acting funny. So that's why you didn't get to see the reveal of the wig beforehand. But yeah, that's the wig, sis. So I went ahead and did the other side. And now I'm just pinning her braids down. I'm not going to sew them down because she wants to be able to just take them off and then take out the braids without me or anyone being there to cut anything out of her hair. So I'm used, putting on this nude or beige cap on her head. Um, and I'm gonna do if you've seen me lay my wig I'm laying her wig pretty much the same way I'm laying her wig this is my first time honestly um, or second time laying a wig on someone um, and it's not as easy as it may seem to lay it on yourself because like you know your own head so it was a really really good learning experience um, something that I want to do often I make wigs for people all the time but when it comes to like laying people's wig I don't usually do that because most of the girls I wear, wear give wigs to or make wigs for they know what they're doing already so I'm putting my got to be gel on her um, hair and then we're moving that up and now I'm just gonna lay the wig down as you can see me doing now and now I'm just cutting off the little tabs that you know that come over the ear I'm cutting that off so that she can you know let her ear breathe <laughs> Alright, so now I grab my headscarf and I'm just putting it around her head so she can let that lay and melt. And now I'm just going to go ahead and cut. She wants it to be like a shorter bob. So that's what we're doing now. I'm saying going around and I'm just cutting that. And you want to make sure it's even. You want to keep going back and forth and back and forth um, until the cut is extremely even. So I got it pretty much even and now I'm going to go in and straighten it. All right, now the wig is straight, so we want to cut off the lace. I'm plucking it a little bit more. She wanted a thicker hairline, not super thick, but it was way too thick. Looked too wiggy. I know we're far, so you can't see it that well, but it was a little thick. So I'm just cutting off that lace, and now I'm going in with my edge control, doing some edges for her, and then voila, 
that is the style guys don't forget to like comment share and subscribe you already know remember to bloom because the flower is a soul blossoming in nature see you guys on my next one Mwah.